Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about one thing. How I took my client from making, these are sales of $9,606 in one month to the next month making $14,741. All he did was follow some simple tips, took my advice, and he made additional 5,000 some dollars. Do you wanna see how you can do that too? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I took my client within one month. He was already getting, this was his sales, $9,606. Took him to over $5,000 in additional sales. How did we do that? First off, I told him to stop buying certain items. He was buying a bunch of these items. They just weren't selling. They weren't selling very fast, but they were profitable. They were profitable, but they weren't selling. All that is is dead money in that, in that product. So what we did... Back in June, so June 1st was my very first day, I actually create, or put out this course for a couple of my clients, actually five clients, but put it out but like, okay, you know, if you want to do this, just let me know. This is what I'm offering. I'm offering four, so there's four 15 minute phone calls that I would actually call you on your phone um, every single week at our set time. And there'd be four of those throughout the month. And then I would create a plan for you. So. You'd answer a questionnaire that I have. You'd write, put all your information that I need. Um, and this, this isn't account information or anything like that. It's just, you know, your budget, your uh, your goals, stores that you have around you, where you're from, uh, if you have employees, uh, you know, someone to help you, just stuff like that. So they all answered those questions. This client in particular answered it within about 30 minutes of me sending him the, the questionnaire, sent it back to me. So he was the first one. So. What I essentially did is I created an entire plan for him to, you know, wh what store is the source? So the, the, this right here, this was pretty much all done at Big Lots. He was spending hours at Big Lots because he could get a good deal. This right here, this was done at Goodwill, Salvation Army, Walmart, and Target. Those are the stores he went to. Over here, there were no Big Lots. We didn't go to Big Lots here. The reason for that, because he could get more stuff at Walmart, he could get more stuff at Target, he could get better deals on you know new and used items at Goodwill and the Salvation Army. That's why I told him to do that. So I told him what to buy, kind of what you should expect to pay for it, about what it's going to sell for. So I know I know what you're probably wondering. You're probably wondering, you know, why did I offer you know certain certain people this you know this offer this coaching? It was because I wasn't exactly sure if I wanted to do it, and over the summertime. It was something that I wanted to kind of break into slowly. But what it is, it's four uh, coaching calls. You get one a week. We talk for like 15 minutes. Sometimes it goes up 20 minutes. Um, I'm not like set on 15 minutes usually. But it's it's four coaching calls. And I create a custom sourcing plan for you of how you can start with your X you know, dollar budget and hopefully get to X amount in profit You know, by month three. That is the goal. So... What I charge, it's $99, like my little art. So I charge $99, and there, there's a reason for that. Normally, I charge $80 per hour to do a Skype call. I know a lot of you guys were complaining about, okay, not really complaining, but you didn't want to do a Skype call. You'd rather just a phone call. Well, I decided, you know, it, it was about time. So in June, I decided I was just going to get another phone. Uh, it wasn't going to be my personal phone, and it was just going to be used to call my clients. So that's all I've been doing is I will call my clients, you know, on a certain day, a certain time, and we set it up, you know, we correspond through emails as well. But that is what you're paying for. You're paying $99 for, you get four 15, minute, 15 to 20 minute coaching calls, um, and I'm going to walk you through, okay, if you're brand new, this is what you need to do. Uh, you know, you need to start here, here, and here. You need to get this set up. You need to do that. I'm um, gonna send you some information. You're gonna start, you know, getting getting your business going, obviously. But then, you know, week two rolls around. It's like, you know, you didn't do much sourcing. Well, why not? I'm gonna talk you through it. Okay, you need to go do this, or you know, just go to the store. Call me back in 10 minutes when you get there, and I'm gonna tell you what what to go look for. Okay. So that, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm pretty much coaching you exactly what to buy. And with the fourth quarter coming up, 
this is something that a lot more people have been asking me for, especially within the last two or three weeks as more and more people have been talking about the fourth quarter, is, you know, could could they call me? Could they send me text messages if, if uh, they find a good deal? Well, I'm, I'm not going to do, you know, just random phone calls. I, I don't want that because I run my business uh, every day anyway, and I do other things, so I can't have that. But to set up an actual time where where you and I can talk and I can help you with any problems you're having and just get you going, get you ready for the fourth quarter so you can be making a lot of money, I'm all for that. Okay, so what you're going to see next is I'm actually going to walk you through my Amazon FBA um, questionnaire, my planning questionnaire, because I can't actually create a plan for you unless I know information about you. It's like somebody creating a workout plan. How can they create a workout plan for you if they don't know your weight, they don't know your body type, they don't know how much time throughout the day you have to actually exercise or why you can't you know, do meal prep or something like that. So I'm pretty much preparing you for success. That's what this is. So check it out. All right, guys. So right here, you're looking at my Amazon FBA planning questionnaire. Uh, all this is is and so instead of me you know standing up there writing on the whiteboard trying to explain this to you I'm just gonna show it to you firsthand I have you know some questions here that I asked my clients um, so I'm actually going to got the, the questionnaire right here for one of my clients so I'm actually just gonna fill it in exactly how she did um, I'm not gonna put her name phone number or I guess I can put her her city um, Jackson. Now yeah, we'll just do that. Anyway, close enough. So, uh, what is your current spending budget? So, I, I ask all these questions because in order for me to create a plan for you and help you grow, I need to know where you are right now. So, ask what's your current spending budget? Current spending budget is fifteen hundred dollars uh, cash. And uh, forty-seven hundred credit. Okay. So what this tells me is she she has forty-seven hundred dollars credit. So when we actually talk on the phone, I will ask her, "Is this forty-seven hundred dollars of willing credit or just credit? Are you willing to max out this credit right here? If you are, we will count it all. If you are not." we will deduct whatever you are not willing to spend if she only wants to spend a thousand then we will take that down to a thousand in credit okay even though she has more cash she says she's willing to spend all the cash her one month profit goal is a thousand dollars Okay. her three months If I could type, is twenty-seven fifty. So that's her one month. That is her three months. So obviously, you know, she's she wants to make this a full-time income. So that's what I can I can gather from this is she wants to make this a full-time income. But how much time can she devote to it? She says she could devote thirty hours a week. Okay, that is thirty hours. She has a part-time job. Um, I did. I didn't ask up here if she had kids. Uh, from after talking to her uh, over the month, she has two kids. Um, so 30 hours. And she breaks that down into after work. She will come home. She will feed the kids, and she will go out. She'll go sourcing, and she'll do more sourcing on Saturdays. Prep everything and get it shipped off, um, or prep everything Sunday and have it ready to be shipped on Monday. 15 stores. She has Goodwill, she has Walmart, Target, she has a Costco, she has a Sam's Club, she has a Kmart. I don't know if she still has a Kmart, but she did. Um, so I'm just going off what she told me. Sears, Macy's, oops, Big Lots, Staples, Office Depot. Salvation Army. You guys probably don't care, but that kind of bugged me. Anyway, uh, Salvation Army, and she stopped there. So up here, I do actually ask, include thrift and pawn shops if you like. She didn't include any pawn shops. And so on mine, I wrote pawn, question mark. 
and highlight it. So I'm just curious if she doesn't want to do pawn shops. If she doesn't want to, that is completely fine. I don't want to teach her how to do it if she's not comfortable just yet. Um, yeah, she still wants to get into it. So that's what she did. Uh, what do you currently buy the majority of? Walmart. Uh, and Goodwill. Hmm. And as far as her total, she was not sure. So all this tells me is she is unsure of exactly what she's spending. If she's not sure what she's spending, chances are she doesn't know what she's making. Okay. What is your preferred sourcing category? Hers was toys and books. Toys and books. Those are her. That's the preferred one, and that's what I get quite a bit is toys and books. Toys because there's so many many of them. Books because well they're fairly cheap to get into and I highly recommend them she wasn't approved not that's not too bad in my uh, when we do the phone call uh, one of the things I did in week two so the first week we we went over everything and tried to get her on track I wanted to know exactly what she was spending how much uh, potential profit she was making want to know how many items she was buying, what stores she went to, uh, about how how many or how long she was in those stores. That was that was pretty much what week one was. Week two, uh, I actually walked her through how to get ungated in clothing, shoes, and luggage, and so she did that. Um, which you know, if you guys need help getting ungated, I will help you when we do our phone call, weekly phone call. Um, do you want to buy wholesale or overseas, such as private label, at some point in the future? And what's your reasoning? She said yes, um, and she didn't know uh, why. People keep on telling me it's very profitable, and so the first thing I told her, "Well, do you also ever hear? Do you ever hear um, the opposite side of that? The people that tell you." It is very profitable, but they also lost everything. They had to go back to their nine to five job, and you know they're not uh, reselling anymore. She said no. She she's never heard any of that. There's nobody out there that actually create videos on that. The reason is because nobody wants to hear that. Do I buy wholesale? Do I do private label? Yes, I do. My very first private label product was not profitable. Just to let you know. So I have been been on both sides, and I don't want you to be on both sides. So. That is why I do what I do. That's why I teach. Um, do you have anybody that helps you? Um, yes. One child, 12 years, 11 years old, and boyfriend, child, So child peels labels and packs the boxes. The boyfriend ships. So he his responsibility, which uh, I'm laughing at because just the conversations that we've had, um, he works quite a bit. Uh, but Monday mornings, it's his responsibility. Take one of the kids to school. So that is what he does. Monday morning, after he takes drops off one of the kids to school, he then takes all the boxes to UPS. That is his job that's his responsibility so the reason why I filled all this out is to show you kind of what she said this is what she said she stops at Walmart Goodwill doesn't know exactly what her totals are these are stores that are within 15 minutes of her house um, she'll spend 30 hours a week okay um, that's her that's what her monthly profit is that's her goal for the month for month one, this is your goal after month three. Um, her cash, credit, just to let you know, she hit the $1,000 profit within the first month. Um, we are halfway through uh, month, okay, we're not halfway through. We are four days in. I'm shooting this video right now on uh, August 4th. And so we are four days into the second month. And as of right now, she's already hit $800 in profit for the four days in August, which is very good. That is almost her uh, one-month goal. So just to let you know, her one-month goal, she actually got $1,700. That was her profit for the month. So anyway, 
the whole reason for this questionnaire is I can't create a plan without it. I need to know exactly where you're at. So what I actually told her, and if you want to use this advice, you can. What I actually told her with your budget, okay, the $1,500 in cash, $1,000 in credit, I would not spend all your money going to Walmart, Target, Costco, all these stores. I would not focus on that just yet. I would make sure you understand what you're buying. That's why I recommend Goodwill. That's why I recommend you know, the Walmart sales, the Target sales. Okay? Salvation Army is great. Okay, You need to use these places because you can make a lot of money, but if you buy from the wrong places, say brand new clothes, not on sale at Macy's, probably are not going to make you any money on Amazon. Okay, Buying wholesale from Sam's Club and Costco, buying grocery products that you cannot sell because you aren't uh or you are not approved to sell them or you buy you know their three pack of ketchup and you bust open the pack and try to individually sell the ketchup that can get you suspended don't do that and i believe that could also get you fined and possibly jail time but don't quote me on that one um so that is what i do so i just wanted to show you guys exactly what the questions were and you know i i kind of explained to you why you know what i told her and everything like that and and if you do go through my my monthly training or my monthly program you will see and you know you'll know firsthand that every single week i'm going to call you at our scheduled time we're going to talk about whatever it is we need to talk about to get you on track maybe you didn't source enough product maybe you didn't send it in maybe you your budget was cut uh, whatever it is we're gonna address that we're gonna fix your plan I'm gonna adjust it. it's not a cookie cutter plan okay the questions I ask they're all the same for every single client they're all the same but as far as the my recommendations they all change so that is what you get so if you guys have any questions just let me know alright guys so hopefully you understood the the whole questionnaire thing and if you guys have any questions you can comment below or just send me a message over on Facebook Facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur. Um, but if you have any questions, I can answer them there. But one thing you need to understand is I'm not going to open you know, this coaching call thing up to 100 people. That's just not going to happen. I don't have that kind of time. So as of right now, it's only open to 20 people. If you want to be part of that, you, know, you can go click on the link in the description below. It's over on Gumroad. And you can pay for it there. It signs up. As soon as you pay for it, you will actually get an email from me that shows you what the, the questionnaire. Fill it out. You just email it back to me, and I'll I'll be in touch with you probably within probably within like 24 hours max. Okay, so we can get started tomorrow if you want to. Okay, so that is what it is. Again, if you guys have any questions on the, it's not really a course. It really isn't. It's more just a training program. You're you're paying me to be your mentor, to be your guide. I'm creating a whole plan for you. This is what you need to do. This is why I recommend it. If you have any questions on that, on the plan that I create, just send me an email back. Like, I'm not sh too sure about this. You know, that store just isn't very good. Uh, you know, I've been there before. If, in fact, you have been to a store that I'm highly recommending and there's absolutely nothing there, we will walk through it together. We will, I'll make sure that that store is in fact, not profitable before I recommend you just walk away. Okay? So again, if you guys have any questions, comment below or just send me a message over on Facebook. Let me know what your questions are. If you want to join, get, again, I'm only opening this up to 20 people. Um, so if you want to join that, you can click in the description below. Click the Gumroad link and it'll take you over there again. $99. It's for one month. If you want to renew, you can. If you don't, don't renew okay but that's what it is I've already had a client go from nine thousand six hundred some dollars to over fourteen thousand dollars in sales male profit that was about 40 45 percent uh, uh, profit on their investment so their ROI okay I don't know exactly what the the numbers are but anyway that's what it is that more than paid the ninety nine dollar fee the the information that they learned and everything that's going to keep growing and growing and keep growing on that. So again, only 20 spots. If you want in, 
click the link in the description below. And again, if you guys have questions, send me a message over on Facebook or a comment below. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.